Welcome to morning yoga. So make sure to have your blocks and we have the playlist ready to go. If you'd like to participate with that, it's um, the Wednesday gentle playlist. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to start on the third song because this will be a little shorter class. So cue up the be free song. Oops. Um, just cue it up and then we'll press play together. So three, two, one, play. And then you'll head over to your mat and we're actually just gonna start in child pose. Cue up the music, cue up your body. So often, depending how warm you feel, to flip the palms up while you're in your child's pose. One more breath here. Excuse me. Breathe in, and then as you breathe out, flip the palms down. And then three times. Inhale forward, exhale back. If you want to add a little bit of a cow pose, you can arch the spine. Inhale, find that movement, find your breath. Last one. Inhale, tabletop, and then three times, find those shoulder circles. Finding movement behind the shoulder blade. Can you lift your belly as you do this? You're isolating that movement to the upper torso. And then three times hip circles, one direction. Three times, other direction. Through the center, flip the hands back. So your fingertips will point towards the legs. And then find cat cow here a couple times. Inhale, arch, exhale around, getting that stretch for the forearms. Inhale, guide the breath in. Exhale, guide the breath out. If it's possible, feel the lips. Breathe in and out through your nose. Last one, inhale. Exhale around. And then as you come to neutral spine, flip the hands back around. Child's pose, bring the knees wide. Send to fingertips. This is an opportunity to use the blocks under the arms if you have any wrist issues. Lift the wrists up, lift the elbows up, lift your armpits up. Plant the hands, tuck your toes, downward dog. Generous stance, so bend the knees a lot, bring the hands a little wider, give yourself that space, wide base. You can move the ankles around a little bit, you can move the knees around a little bit. Walk it out, bending one knee and then the other. Can you hear the sound of your breath? breath, child pose. Plant the hands, inhale, high plank. And slowly, you'll just rock your weight over side to side. Through the center, come down to your forearm plank. Pause through the center, and then you're just going to drop one hip and then the other. So it's a little bit of a twist, working those obliques and creating, creating warmth here. 
dipping one hip over and then the other. Press those heels back. You got it. Three, two, one. And now you're going to come up into dolphin. So walk those feet up. Get that Achilles stretch here. Drop your head. Pose. Reach the arms long. Downward dog. This time bring the feet together. Right leg lifts. Step it forward, high crescent, or you can drop that back knee. Set up the legs. Feet are off the balance beam. And always bring your hands to your hips to find your balance before reaching the arms up. Goal post arms, open up the chest. Inhale up. Can you sit into your legs a little bit more? Goal post arms. Inhale up. Pause. This time you're going to reach left arm forward, right arm back, twist to the right. Inhale forward. Exhale twist. Inhale forward. Last one, pause in the twist, and then you'll let that left hand reach all the way to the earth, coming into your easy twist. Can you sit into the legs even more? Hands to the earth, three-legged dog. So sweep that right leg up and back. And everything stack your hips. Option to bend the top knee, scorpion. Step that right foot towards the top of the mat, left foot top of the mat. Chair pose. Pause, lift your belly, get your seat back and can you bring your center of gravity towards the heels? Interlace the fingers, flip the palms up, reach up and back, extended mountain. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Plant the hand, step it back, downward dog. One breath here. Feet come together, inhale, left leg lift. Step it forward, high crescent. Set up the legs first. Full post arms, open the chest. Can you feel the back of the heart here? Inhale, reach. Power up those legs. Last one, roll post arms. Inhale up. This time, right hand forward, twist to your left. Inhale, both hands to the sky. Exhale, twist. Can you keep the legs still and just move the upper body? Inhale. Last one. Pause. Take that right hand all the way to the earth. Easy twist. Get into those legs a little bit more. Hands to the earth, left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Externally rotate, stack your hips. Option to bend that top knee, activate the hamstring, and then reach that leg high, step it forward, top of the mat. Chair, chair pose. Interlace the fingers, maybe it's the awkward grasp that time. Plant the hands, step it back, downward dog. It's always something with this setup. Um, 
if you, oh, well, I guess I can't say if you can't hear me because if you can't hear me, you can't hear me. <laughs> Child's pose, flip those palms up again. Grab your block. You're going to sit on the block and come up. Take shoulder circles up and around. I know you're fine. And then this time, you're going to inhale, arms up overhead, twist toward your right or near you. Inhale up, twist towards your left. Inhale up, twist. Inhale up, last one. Unwind to the center, flip the palms up, one breath. Exhale, palms down. Three shoulder circles. Block comes out of the way. You're coming to your boat pose, Navasana. I just need to stretch my back a little bit. Find your boat pose. Take your butts. The earbuds just stress me out a little bit. Take your block between the hands. So I'm in a modified boat. If you want, feel free to hover the legs. And then you hold on to the block with the left hand, pull the right hand back like a bow and arrow. Inhale, switch, left arm back, draw that elbow back. Inhale, hopefully that twist is fine after we just a little prep. Inhale, long spine. Inhale up. Okay. Back to the center, hold that block, and then maybe you just hover one leg or straighten one leg and then the other. Switch. 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 Last one. Take the block between the legs. See if you can hover. Option is stay here or come down to a low boat. Legs and arms hovering off the earth. Inhale, high boat. Exhale, low. Inhale up. You can even bring the arms up a little bit to find a little momentum to get you up. Whatever works best for you. Three more. And the modification is just coming here a little bit forward, a little bit back. You can even hold on behind the thighs. Just should have shown you that sooner, but okay. Pause, and then three times bring your arms up and around. It's okay if the heels need to be on the earth. Up and around. Last one. Other direction three times. Ooh, it's a lot of work. Three, two, one, and then roll everything down. Knees come in, walk off to the side. Hug the knees in. Plant your feet, inhale, arms come up overhead. Exhale to your sides. We'll do that two more times. If you want to add, you'll add on that um, reclined cat cow. Arch the spine as you bring the hands up. Exhale, round arms at your sides. Inhale up. Exhale, draw your right knee in. Roll out the ankle, one direction, other direction. And then just find those knee circles here. Opening up the hip. But the low back will be happy later on today. Other direction, lay your arms, take over the leg. So it's a passive range of motion. Your hip is not doing the work for you here. 
through the center, and then we're finding, finding our bow and arrow pose. So let the knee press into the hands until the arms straighten. Continue to press your knee into the hands to draw your peel, your upper torso off the earth, and then add on that left leg hovering halfway between the earth and the sky. Pause, scoop out the front body, gaze forward through the leg. Slowly, everything comes back down, both knees in. Plant that right foot, roll out the ankle on the left. And already here, can you find the long spine? And then knee circle. Direction with that leg. Through the center, hug it in, and then release the knee from the chest, press into the hands, keep pressing, lift the head, neck, and shoulders, and then add on the right leg. Bow and arrow, scoop the front body, find that rounding of the spine. Arms are straight here. Last breath. Everything comes back down, head, neck, and shoulders to the earth. This time, draw the knees together and find those circles with the knees together. So it's a massage for the low back. Other direction. Time. Hands will come either under your seat or you can grab side edges of the mat. And it's like a bicycle, so you're just going to switch the knees. If it's too much, come to reverse tabletop and just take one knee two inches out. I'm showing the modification here. Otherwise, it's a bicycle. And if you want to add on, curl your head, neck, and shoulders, reach the hands forward. If it's too much, you can always grab onto the leg. Otherwise, we're seeing if we can just isolate to the leg while crunching forward. Five, four, a little bit more lift. Three, two, one, both knees in, head, neck, and shoulders to the earth. This time, knees come away from each other around and together. Open up those hip joints. Other direction. And then you're going to find your rock and roll forward and back. Come up and over tabletop. Spread the fingers. We're going to find that shoulder movement. So you can do a little bit of a circle or just find that protraction, retraction of the shoulder blade. I'm doing that one a lot this week. So you keep the plank quality through the belly and through the neck, and you just move the shoulders here. Okay, come to neutral, kick the right foot up towards the sky, and we're taking knee to nose, round and curl forward, activate the core. Inhale, kick that foot back up. Exhale, round. Inhale up. Exhale, round, pause, and then step that foot forward, high crescent again. Power up that back leg. Just like we did earlier, standing twist, left arm forward, right arm back, twist towards your right. Pause, or you can reverse it. Take your hand to the hip or the low back, or you find that bind. Back leg super straight, or the back knees down. Both hands to the earth. Three legged plank, so let that right leg hover. Uh, Pump onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, lower those heels. Can you squeeze your elbows towards each other? Inhale, balls of the feet. Exhale, lower. Hopefully you can still hear me because the earbuds are being weird. Inhale. 
Exhale, and then drop your knees tabletop. Left it to the sky. Knee to nose. Inhale, kick it back up. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale up. Last one. Round and pause. Step it forward. High crescent. Lift your belly. Sit your seat down. Right arm forward. Twist to the left. Pause here or reverse it. Last breath. Hands to the earth, three-legged plank. Dog. Bend one knee and then the other and walk it out. Tabletop again, right foot to the sky. See your nose. Inhale up, see the nose, round the spine, kick your belly button up towards the sky. Last one. This time, kick that foot back up. And you're taking your knee out to the side, finding big knee circles. Out to the side. Other direction with the knee, three. Turning on that outer hip, two, one. Step that right foot forward, warrior one. Pause. Hang out here or grab opposite elbows and bring the arms back. Hands to the sky, hands to your heart. Open it up, warrior two. So now you're gonna bring your feet onto the balance beam. Find your gaze. And then we'll straighten that front leg to reach up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, sit into it. Last one. Warrior two, pause, side angle. Reach the front arm forward. You can place your elbow to the knee or hand to the earth. Top arm can rest on the hip towards the sky or up overhead. If you want to power up the abs, take both arms at a diagonal. With your warrior two legs, inhale all the way back up, reverse it, and then hands to the earth, vinyasa or downward dog. Okay, drop the knees, inhale, left it to the sky, exhale round, inhale up, kick up your belly, around, inhale up, and round, and then this time you take that foot back up, but then bring your knee out to the side, big knee circles. Other direction with the knee, two, last one, take that foot back up to the sky, step it forward, warrior one, Pause or opposite elbows on a baby back bend. Hands to the sky, hands to your heart, and then open up warrior two. So bring those feet onto the same line. Inhale, straighten the front leg, reach up. Exhale, activate through the arms as you press down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Exhale. Pause. Find your side angle. And if you want, you can take your arm both to the diagonal to load up, then turn the torso. Otherwise, totally fine to have that top hand resting on the hip, like so. Sit into those legs, scoop your hips under you. Come back up, warrior two. Reverse it, hands to the earth, vinyasa, or straight to downward dog. Okay. 
We'll meet a child's pose with the palms up. Slowly transition onto your back. We're going to close off this shorter class together. And we're going to flush out the front of the hip before we end. So roll all the way down. Take your block between the legs. Find that reverse tabletop. Block between the hands, reach up overhead, back between the legs. And if you want, add on those toe taps. Moving that block between the hands and then between the legs. Walk off to the side, plant your feet, half bridge press. So the feet are parallel. You want them about hip distance so their hip, heel bone is aligned with your sit bone. Inhale, lift the hips, pretend like there's something really heavy sitting on your lap. Option to grab side edges of the mat or press your palms and your triceps into the earth. We're gonna pause here. Can you lengthen your tailbone away from you? Neck is relaxed. Slowly roll down. And so another reason that activating the hamstrings is really helpful is that can aid in strengthening the hamstrings so that your low back doesn't bother you. Last one, option to take the block between the legs if you like that. So this helps to protect the low back and also decrease any pulling and tugging if the hamstrings are weak. And so as we strengthen the muscle in one direction, that can also help to create flexibility. Slowly roll down, so it goes both ways. Strengthen to have more flexibility, get the flexibility to have more strength, and then slowly find your Shavasana or come to a seat together. We're preparing to be more mentally active if you're taking a seat. If you like to use the block for your meditation cushion, just a reminder that you can always take the blocks to the highest settings. Under the sit bones, you just want to have a pretty wide base so that it's touching the bones under your seat. Close the eyes, flip the palms up. the eyes closed, flip the palms down. Calling all your energy in and down. An act of grounding. And then bringing your hands together. You can take a hand mudra or rest your hands on your body. Just calling in, sealing in with an intention so that as you move away from your mat, you will stay intentional really choosing where you want to place your awareness today, not getting too caught up in what other people want from you, but staying really centered within yourself, guided by your inner compass. Thank you.